An emotional meeting over the recent deaths of horses at Santa Anita. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live in Arcadia with details of the California Horse Racing Board meeting. Greg. And I'll tell you what, Pat, uh, emotional is an understatement. This is quite a show to see. Lots of drama here at the California Horse Racing Board meeting at Santa Anita. Because all I see here is a bunch of single women. A um, okay, no, no. bunch of single women criticizing what we do here. He was escorted out. Lies. All they care about is money. She was escorted out. In between, in the public forum, passion from both sides in light of 25 horses euthanized here since December. End horse racing now. As I am. If I have a horse that can't compete, they won't compete. They'll Keeping fight. this track open, knowing that horses are going to continue to die is premeditated murder. Having witnessed this, I can tell you both sides do care passionately about the horse's health. This death toll does take a toll. You know, that hurts. She is a 32 year veterinarian here. Lost one, and I wanted to cry. He is a longtime trainer here. Those who work here, those who oversee the industry statewide, say changes have been made and more to come, but critics say it's not enough. Even if there is reform and less horses are killed, horses are still being killed. With the death toll climbing, Santa Anita was shut down to investigate the cause. Commissioner Chuck Winner co-wrote SB 469 that he expects to pass in the state assembly. It would allow the commissioners to quickly shut down any track in the state due to health concerns for horses and or jockeys. The way it is now, we can't do that. It takes a whole process. They are also limiting the use of Lasix for horses. Santa Anita officials say since the shutdown in the winter, there have been close to 9,000 fast workouts or races. And out of those 9,000 events, three horses have died. They view that as favorable. Critics don't. It needs to end. This is an antiquated sport. That trainer you heard from, the Hall of Fame trainer, insists this is what's to blame for the horses dying here at Santa Anita. The turf and all that rain we got this winter. Reporting live from Arcadia, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. Pat and Jeff, back to you.